गुड इवनिंग लांसर्स टुडे वी आर हेयर विद आर ट्वेंटी वन डेज लांसर फेलो डॉक्टर जय दुर्गा सो डॉक्टर जय दुर्गा हैज कम टू अस फ्रॉम मदुरै तमिलनाडु शी इज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन शिव गंगाई मेडिकल कॉलेज सो मैडम टेल एस समथिंग अबाउट योर एक्सपीरियंस इन लेप्रोस्कोपी लांसर्स थैंक यू फॉर योर इंट्रोडक्शन डॉक्टर बानो सर फ्रॉम माय कोलीग हु वर्क्स विद मी ही यूज टू वॉच सर्स वीडियोस फॉर लॉन्ग टाइम एंड देन ही टोल मी अबाउट सर आई स्टार्टेड फॉलोइंग सर एंड सॉ इज वीडियोज फॉर आई थिंक द लास्ट थ्री फोर मंथ्स एंड इन द सेम पीरियड ऑनली आई वॉज लुकिंग फॉर अ टीचर और अ ट्रेनिंग मेंटर फॉर लैप्रोस्कोपिक ट्रेनिंग and that was the right time when sir introduced to this uh, 14 and 20 day course of laparoscopic training um and i really started uh, as a, i contacted sir uh, i feel like uh, uh, you have to be in the ot uh, you have to know what 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 is happening around uh, uh, the data uh, to to um, to know a lot of things and uh, uh you know uh, the technical practical difficulties the manipulation techniques uh, will be uh, better noticed and uh, you can learn a lot from it so that's why i contacted sir and uh, i joined the course so what all cases you got to assist see and do here uh there are n number of cases that uh, i saw in the 21 day course uh with sir and i was fascinated uh, like uh, how and like, how can a human being operate so uh, such number of cases every day and every week every month and uh, i think i uh, observed uh, 43 cases of laparoscopic cholecystectomy in the 21 day course uh, of which uh, i assisted a lot of cases and uh, sir allowed me to operate uh, two cases of three port uh, laparoscopic cholecystectomy Other than uh, lab colleagues, uh, I also got uh, to observe and assist uh, TLH uh, uh, for uh, DUB, uh, even big fibroids, uh, cervical fibroid, and uh, lab myomectomies, uh, ectopic pregnancies, and uh, IPOM, IPOM plus, TAPP, TEP. So I got to observe a lot of cases. So you got to visit a lot of hospitals and places during your stay here. Mm. So initially, I thought uh, this freelancing uh, uh, maybe it was not for me because uh, as uh, being a female, uh, it would be a little bit challenging. Uh, but then I wanted to explore it uh, because uh, that is where you get to experience a lot of things, and uh, it it was uh, what I assumed was correct. initial 2 uh, 3 days it was difficult for me but later on i coped up and uh, i got to learn a lot with sir uh, uh, i had uh, uh, opportunity to uh, go to very number of hospitals in and around uh, chandigarh and even in himachal pradesh like uh, mandi kullu solem and all uh, a number of hospitals uh, sir goes and operates and i got to uh, observe you know uh, different uh, you no know, in each hospital the opt setup is going to be different it is not the same um, the equipments and instruments they don't have the higher end of uh, the equipments in every ot mm-hmm. so you also get to understand and observe what is happening around in a nano ot with the basic in, uh, equipments and the instruments uh, how can you handle the situation how sir operates and uh, he does things i got to observe and that was an interesting part so what was the use of learning uh, laparoscopic hysterectomy or other urology and all cases uh, yeah what do you feel is the utility yeah, it is definitely important for uh, the practice of a general surgeon uh, gynae cases like uh, tlh myomectomies and uh, ectopics it is very important that uh, a surgeon should uh, know the uh, anatomy of uh, laparoscopic anatomy of uh, pelvis and uh, the dissection 
and the various techniques one uses in uh, guiding surgery is very important in today's practice for a surgeon. That's what I and think. And about cystoscopy and... Uh, and uh, I should mention this, and I got the opportunity to uh, travel with uh, Dr. Manoj Sharma, a urologist, for his freelancing, uh, and I got to observe and assist uh, cases of BCNL, URSL, and uh, TURP. And uh, cystoscopy is very important, again, at least a basic cystoscopy one should know uh, in uh, you know uh, as a routine of uh, gynec surgeries um, after operating or after doing a difficult case one should know to uh, you know, perform a cystoscopy and uh, visualize the bladder and all so total how many hospitals you visited and how many surgeries you got to see yeah, hospitals, I think around 15 hospitals in and around Chandigarh and Himachal Pradesh, yeah, one five hospitals I got to visit. And the number of surgeries, I even have the, uh, you know, the uh, count of uh, the surgeries that I had uh, observed. Uh, I think uh, 43 laparoscopic uh, cholecystectomies in the 21 day period, 7 TLH, 1 myomectomy, 2 ectopic pregnancies, 3 IPOM plus, and what am I? Uh, so how much upgradation you feel you are having since you came here and your level of confidence? Yeah, definitely uh, my knowledge has improved a lot and uh, I know how to, uh, where and all I have to concentrate to uh, improve my uh, skills, the manipulation techniques. I have really gained a lot of knowledge and that's very important. And what about the maintenance of instruments during the lancing period? Did yeah. you get to have any yeah. experience on that? I was very specific that I have to make uh, friends with the instruments. And uh, I was, I uh, took it as like uh, I was, uh, I, uh, I knew the value of those instruments and all, right? So I consider myself fortunate to have uh, gotten all the instruments to my room. And I personally uh, uh, washed all the instruments mm -hmm. and he told me the techniques and tricks how to wash the uh, instruments, how to sterilize it and all. So I got to assemble and dis disassemble all the laparoscopic instruments. That's how you learn and that's how you, you know, uh, get to know the instrument. Mm -hmm. That is very important. And uh, So what do you feel is the message to the people who are getting training today? and about the people who are going to enter into surgical training the day after. Yeah, I feel like uh, one uh, general surgeon should know uh, laparoscopic surgery um, and uh, um, freelancing you get to uh, observe and uh, know a very number of cases in different hospital settings. Um, definitely the training will be very uh, useful for the upcoming uh, surgeons and who are practicing as well be very useful.